their own country. Chris Montgomery says he'd rather be in Iraq than patrolling American neighborhoods. Walking up and down these streets, you don't you don't want to think about the stuff that you're gonna have to do. If somebody pops around the corner. Let me shoot an American. Yeah. I mean, that's on record. That happened. This is what they're training for. This is what they do the first chance they get. Stop living in denial. Attention, attention, attention. American forces are here to help. Remain calm. We will not tolerate civil disobedience. Throw the gun away, Mr. Randall. Go on, throw it. No tricks, mister. the poorest county in Montana, and the $27 million prison has turned into a white elephant. Because there are no prisoners, Glenn and Ray Perkins got laid off after moving to Hardin to take guard jobs. When I went to the door, there were two cops standing with their hands on their guns. I've lived in the same town for 26 years. We got 90 and 94 sitting right over here where they intersect, which is a perfect place for a checkpoint. I noticed that they got these mobile checkpoint stations. There's a lot of secrecy going on. I'm concerned about the legitimacy of who they are. Nothing is square in this whole thing. I cannot let my grandchild grow up in this kind of thing. and its main focus is to bring prisoners and jobs to Hardin. We've got a beautiful, beautiful facility here. Becky, it's, it's, I mean, it's time to get straight with us now. We, we need to know these things. I think the people of Hardin need to know this. Becky, Becky, she for her pay package. I don't know what she made as a reporter for the Gazette, but I know it wasn't much. But here, she's getting paid $60,000 a year, plus a house, plus a Mercedes. Vehicle. I don't understand who this company is and why they Follow the money. Where were they two years ago? Follow the money. That's all I have to say. Where were they before the ground broke? Follow the money. And its main focus is to bring prisoners and jobs to Harden. Think it's serious at all? Um, it probably is to those that don't know what's going on. Carrie Smith is the wife of Two Rivers Authority Executive Director Greg Smith, who was recently placed on administrative leave. Well, members of uh, the American Police Force showed up in Hardin yesterday driving vehicles with Hardin Police written on them. As Color 8's Nick Law reports, it created quite a stir, especially because Hardin doesn't have a city police department. This was the talk of the town in Hardin on Thursday. Mercedes decked down in the city of Hardin Police Department decals and driven by American Police Force members. Two Rivers Authority officials say having APF patrol the streets was never part of their agenda. Tell people what's really happening here. Well, first of all, Alex, around the country, it's not just in Montana, but specific areas are being uh, identified as staging grounds. And just recently, we had 12 uh, Tajikistan troops, um, BMWs. These are the same BMWs that you and I talked about uh, meeting. And by the way, the UN admits their main force is Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, uh, and uh, Egyptian and Pakistani. That's their main UN force. Well, well, Steve, we know in Serbia they've had black sites, the secret ghost sites with the kidnapped 
snatch and grab people. Absolutely. We, we know we know that they're in Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Pakistan. We know they're in Egypt. We know they're in Germany. We know they're in Poland. We know they're in the Czech Republic. Uh, we also know that they are in other areas. And so this fits the classic MO where they use these private ghost contractors to run this. Oh, I'm having trouble right now even dealing with this and processing it. Oh. Man, talk about Spookville, CIAville, black sedans running like roaches. When you flip the light on at 3 a.m. in your apartment, there's like big fat roaches going. And they're like, ah! Now the locals are getting upset by these black Mercedes SUVs that have Hardin Montana on them and then the double eagle crest just announcing, we are your police. This is insane. Men with foreign accents stomping around. I mean, this is Red Dawn happening. And the local officials are going, yeah, we've been told they run the camp and that they run the, the town now. I mean, this is Twilight Zone. We're going to go to phone calls here in just a moment. Let's talk to Diane in Montana. Diane in Montana, where this is going on. But as Steve said, it's happening everywhere. Uh, Diane, what's your info? Okay, September 9th, we had a small incident where there was a bunch of SUVs, black Hummers, you name it. It was all there. They even brought a helicopter in. It was four miles from my home. So when we went to check it out, they were all over climbing the mountains in camo, dressed up. Had, they were armed, and they said they were just doing a training exercise. Called the sheriff's office, and we got the same story. It's just FBI training, but it was FEMA, right in Superior. And we're probably about maybe 4,000 population. What did the locals think? And how many FBI FEMA troops were there? Okay, there were six vehicles when my husband went right by them. He called back and said, lock down. I don't know what's going on, if there's escape prisoners or what. Same time, helicopter came through, right overhead. Called his secretary, who was coming in on I-90, told her to check that area out and look at it. And that's when she saw all the camo guys all over the mountainside just crawling up. Asked around town, people didn't think anything about it. We now go live to Alex Jones on the ground in Hardin, Montana. Alex? Okay, we just got a tour from Becky Shea, the former Billings Gazette reporter that's now the PR spokesperson for this facility for American Police Force. She admitted that it'll be a foreign... Uh, paramilitary mercenary training facility. She admitted that it's going to be a detention facility. Uh, the point is, is this is just off the charts. Uh, they're now doing massive damage control. They're about to give us a tour of the outside of the facility. I just got a tour of only one wing of this gigantic $27 million facility. They would not let us into most of the areas. Just while I was in some of the offices, I saw blueprints, I saw documents. I'm just going to leave it at that. But this story is definitely the mother load. This is definitely a black site slash ghost site in the United States. They plan to have this be a ghost site, but locals blew the whistle. They were definitely going to try to become the police through the Two Rivers Authority, basically taking over the town of Harden. Uh, this individual is tied in with high-powered uh, Serb operatives. His dad is some type of... Uh, high-ranking uh, uh, Serb, uh, Chatar, but he won't give anybody else his name. Then you have this Hilton character. Again, that's a fake name. He's Serbian. Uh, there are German troops here, German paramilitaries, British paramilitaries. Uh, but they're keeping uh, back from us deeper in the facility. Yes, yes I am in one of the black uh, Mercedes-Benz SUVs inside the, the detention center. Becky is going to be, I'm going to be using the, the phone as a microphone. Uh, so she can give us a live report. Becky, uh, what about Blackwater Connections? We've been hearing a lot about that in the company and in several places as Bragg, if they have Blackwater Connections. I've heard so many names that it's just absolutely phenomenal to me. We're not disclosing the name of our parent company, um, and, and that's just, that's it. We're not disclosing the name of our parent company. We stand alone. Oh, there's a parent company. Well, uh, there is a umbrella. parent company of American Police Force. There is an umbrella company. American Police Force stands alone as a corporation, um, and and 
We are American Police Force. We are who we are. But if it's a secretive group owned by a secret group and it's headed by a 14-time felon and then they were putting police decals on their vehicles the first few days, I mean, don't people have a right to be a little bit concerned about this, Becky? There are newscasts for saying they wanted this to be Guantanamo Bay West. That was on CNN. That was not American Police Force, and I'd ask you to go back and recheck your sources. That was too. So ridiculous. they've not been requesting to have this as a facility to hold detainees. No, sir. And and please, everyone, listen carefully. Two Rivers Detention Facility will not hold Guantanamo Bay nor other multinational offenders for a minimum and medium. Why did I see? Security. Why did I see documents on the wall, blueprints saying foreign alien detention facility? This is real. This is a ghost site slash black site that we have on. This is this is a FEMA center they want to hold. She was telling me I saw blueprints all over the place, scanning them quickly. I was walking into the facility, and she'd say, "Oh, don't take that, or don't you know, don't show that." Where it was saying alien detention, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, troop barracks, processing facility.